So have you ever walked into a room and instantly felt a surge of energy or maybe a sudden heaviness? That's not just chance, it's your vibration interacting with the energies around you. But what if I told you that you can control and permanently raise your own vibration to transform your life? Today, we're going to learn exactly how to do that, unlocking a power you've always had but never fully tapped into. Energy fields aren't just abstract concepts. They're the invisible forces that surround and permeate everything, including us. Have you ever felt an immediate tension in a room or instantly connected with someone you just met? That's your vibration at work. These experiences aren't random. They're rooted in ancient wisdom recognized by cultures across the globe as vital to our well-being. Think back to those times when your gut feeling turned out to be right or when you were inexplicably drawn to a particular person or place. These aren't coincidences. They're your vibrational energy interacting with the world around you. Today, we're going to dive deep into how you can consciously raise and maintain your vibration permanently, transforming your life in ways you never imagined possible. But have you ever considered that your vibration might be more intricate than you think? Just like an onion has layers, your vibrational energy operates on multiple levels, each one influencing a different aspect of your life. Let's peel back these layers and explore how you can elevate your vibration on the physical, emotional and spiritual levels. Imagine walking through a garden. The physical level of your vibration is like the soil beneath your feet, the very foundation that supports everything else. Let's start digging in and discover how you can raise your vibration permanently. Picture your vibrational energy as a vast spectrum of colors, ranging from deep murky shades to brilliant radiant hues. This spectrum represents the different frequencies at which we all vibrate, and where you fall on it can dramatically impact your life experiences. At the lower end of the spectrum, we find ourselves caught in a fog of negativity and stress. It's like being stuck in a heavy rainstorm, where every step feels like a struggle. You might recognize this state when you're constantly worried, easily irritated, or feeling drained by the smallest tasks. These low vibrational states can manifest as persistent sadness, anger, or a gnawing sense of insecurity. But here's the exciting part. As we move up the spectrum, the storm begins to clear. High vibrational states are like stepping into a sun-drenched meadow. You feel lighter, more at peace, and filled with a sense of possibility. In these states, positivity flows naturally, love comes easily, and gratitude becomes your default setting. Now you might be wondering, where do I stand on this spectrum? Let's do a quick self-check. Think about how you've felt over the past week. Have you been quick to smile, finding joy in small moments? Or have you been more prone to frustration, seeing obstacles at every turn? Your predominant emotional state is a good indicator of your current vibrational frequency. Consider your energy levels. Do you often feel energized and ready to take on challenges? Or do you find yourself constantly drained, struggling to muster enthusiasm for things you once enjoyed? Your energy is another key clue to your vibrational state. Reflect on your recent interactions. Have your conversations been mostly positive, leaving you and others feeling uplifted? Or have you found yourself caught in cycles of complaints and criticism? The nature of our interactions often mirrors our internal vibration. Here's a relatable example. Imagine two co-workers faced with an unexpected project deadline. The first, operating at a lower vibration, immediately feels overwhelmed. They complain about the workload, snap at their teammates and struggle to focus. The second, vibrating at a higher frequency, sees the challenge as an opportunity. They rally the team, approach the task with enthusiasm and maintain a positive outlook throughout. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Your vibrational frequency isn't just about how you feel. It's like a radio signal you're constantly broadcasting to the universe. And just like a radio, you attract experiences and people that match your frequency. If you're tuned into a low vibrational station, you might find yourself constantly dealing with difficult people, facing one setback after another, or feeling like you're always in the wrong place at the wrong time. It can feel like you're stuck in a loop of bad luck. But when you shift to a higher frequency, it's like tuning into a station that plays nothing but your favorite songs. Suddenly, opportunities seem to appear out of nowhere. 
you meet people who inspire and support you. Even challenges become easier to navigate because you're approaching them from a place of clarity and confidence. This doesn't mean that high vibrational living is about constant positivity or ignoring life's challenges. It's about cultivating a resilient, balanced state that allows you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and purpose. Understanding where you stand on the vibrational spectrum is the first step towards consciously shaping your energy and, by extension, your life experiences. It's about recognizing that you have the power to change your frequency at any moment. Now that we've identified where you stand on the vibrational spectrum, let's explore how to climb higher. Raising your vibration isn't a one-time event. It's a journey of daily choices and practices. Think of it like tending a garden. You can't just plant seeds and expect a thriving oasis. It takes consistent care, nurturing and attention to detail. So, how do we cultivate this vibrational garden? Let's start with the basics, the everyday habits that can transform your energy from the ground up. These are practices you can weave into your daily life, no matter how busy you are. First up, positive thinking. It sounds simple, but it's a powerful tool. Have you ever noticed how a single negative thought can spiral into a whole day of doom and gloom? That's low vibrational energy at work. But here's the good news. Positive thoughts work the same way, only better. They create an upward spiral of good vibes. Try this. Catch yourself when you're thinking negatively. Pause, take a breath, and consciously replace that thought with a positive one. It might feel forced at first, but stick with it. Over time, it becomes second nature and you'll find yourself naturally gravitating towards optimism. Next on our list, gratitude. This is like miracle grow for your vibrational garden. When you focus on what you're thankful for, you shift your attention from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. It's a game changer for your energy. Here's a simple way to start. Every morning before you even get out of bed, Think of three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big. Maybe you're thankful for your cozy blanket or the bird singing outside your window. This small practice sets the tone for your entire day. Now let's talk about meditation. I know, I know, you've probably heard this one before, but there's a reason it keeps coming up. Meditation is like a reset button for your vibrational energy. It clears out the mental clutter and helps you tap into higher frequencies. Don't worry if you're not a meditation guru. Even five minutes a day can make a difference. Find a quiet spot, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. When thoughts come, and they will, gently let them go and return to your breath. It's that simple. Another powerful habit, engaging in activities that bring you joy. What lights you up? Maybe it's painting, dancing, or playing with your dog. Whatever it is, make time for it every day. Joy is like rocket fuel for your vibration. Physical activity is crucial too. Exercise isn't just good for your body, it's fantastic for your energy. When you move, you release endorphins, those feel-good chemicals that naturally boost your mood and vibration. Find a form of exercise you enjoy, whether it's yoga, running or dancing in your living room. Now, let's talk about the company you keep. The people around you have a huge impact on your vibrational energy. Surround yourself with positive, supportive individuals who lift you up and don't be afraid to set boundaries with those who drain your energy. Imagine a landscape that has been barren and dry for years, struggling under the weight of drought and harsh conditions. But then, small changes start to occur. A gentle rain begins to fall regularly, seeds that were once dormant start to sprout, and the soil slowly regains its richness. Over time, what was once a desolate area transforms into a thriving, vibrant ecosystem teeming with life and energy. This transformation didn't happen overnight and it wasn't due to some miraculous intervention. It was the result of consistent nourishment, care and the right conditions that allowed the environment to flourish. Just like that landscape, your vibrational energy can shift dramatically with consistent small efforts by integrating practices like daily meditation, gratitude exercises or connecting with uplifting environments you can steadily raise your vibration. Over time, you'll notice a shift, a renewed sense of energy, a more positive outlook, and a greater alignment with your true purpose. This transformation isn't magic. It's the power of raising your vibration through consistent and intentional practices. Now that we've explored the foundations of raising your vibration, 
let's uncover a powerful secret that can supercharge your energy. Authenticity. Have you ever felt like you're wearing a mask, trying to fit into someone else's idea of who you should be? That feeling of disconnect isn't just uncomfortable, it's actually lowering your vibration. Imagine your energy as a river. When you're true to yourself, that river flows freely, nourishing everything around it. But when you're trying to be someone you're not, it's like throwing rocks into that river, creating blockages and slowing the flow. Being authentic isn't just about feeling good, it's about allowing your energy to flow at its highest potential. Think about a time when you felt truly, unapologetically yourself. Maybe it was while pursuing a passion or during a deep conversation with a close friend. Remember how alive you felt in that moment? That's the power of authenticity. It's not just about being honest with others, it's about being honest with yourself. But here's the challenge. Society often pushes us to conform, to fit into neat little boxes. We're bombarded with messages about how we should look, act, and even think. It's like trying to squeeze a square peg into a round hole. It just doesn't work, and it drains our energy in the process. So how do we break free from these societal expectations and tap into our true selves? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to those moments when you feel most alive, most energized. What are you doing? Who are you with? These are clues to your authentic self. Next, challenge the shoulds in your life. Every time you catch yourself thinking, I should be more like this or I should want that, pause and ask yourself, is this really my desire or am I trying to meet someone else's expectations? It's amazing how often we chase goals that aren't truly our own. Now let's get practical. Here's an exercise to help you reconnect with your authentic self. Take a few minutes to journal about your values. What matters most to you? Is it creativity, connection, adventure, or something else entirely? Don't censor yourself. Write whatever comes to mind. This isn't about what you think should be important, but what truly resonates with you at your core. Once you've identified your values, look at how they align with your current life. Are there areas where you're compromising your authenticity Maybe you're in a job that doesn't allow for the creativity you crave, or you're not dedicating enough time to the relationships that truly matter to you. Here's another powerful question to ask yourself. If you had all the money and time in the world, how would you spend your days? Your answer reveals a lot about your true passions and desires. It's not about immediately quitting your job or making drastic changes. It's about recognizing what truly lights you up, and finding ways to incorporate more of that into your life. Remember, authenticity isn't about being perfect or having it all figured out. It's about being honest with yourself and others about who you are, including your flaws and uncertainties. In fact, embracing your imperfections can be incredibly liberating and energizing. As you start to align more with your authentic self, you might notice some resistance, both internal and external. That's normal. Change can be uncomfortable, and the people around you might be used to the old version of you. But here's the amazing thing. As you raise your vibration through authenticity, you'll naturally attract people and opportunities that resonate with your true self. Consider this. Every time you choose authenticity over conformity, you're not just raising your own vibration. You're giving others permission to do the same. It's like creating a ripple effect of positive energy in the world around you. Now let's take a moment to reflect on your unique gifts and strengths. What are you naturally good at? What do people often compliment you on or come to you for help with? These are clues to your authentic talents, the things that not only come easily to you, but also energize you when you do them. Now that we've explored how to align with your authentic self, let's talk about something truly magical, the ripple effect of high vibrations in your relationships. Have you ever noticed how your mood can instantly change the atmosphere in a room? That's your vibrational energy at work, and it's more powerful than you might think. When you maintain a high vibrational state, you become a beacon of positive energy. It's like you're radiating a warm, inviting light that naturally draws others towards you. But here's the fascinating part. You don't just attract anyone. You start attracting people who are vibrating at a similar frequency. These are the kind of people who share your values, your outlook on life, and your aspirations. Think about it. When was the last time you met someone and felt an instant connection? 
that spark of recognition, that feeling of, I've known you forever. That's what happens when two high vibrational individuals cross paths. It's not just chance, it's energy recognizing energy. But it's not just about attracting new relationships. Your higher vibration can transform your existing connections too. As you raise your energy, you might notice a shift in how you interact with friends, family and even colleagues. Conversations become more meaningful, conflicts resolve more easily and there's a deeper sense of understanding and empathy. Now you might be wondering, how do I maintain this high vibration in my relationships? Well, it starts with setting clear boundaries. High vibrational individuals understand the importance of protecting their energy. This doesn't mean pushing people away. Instead, it's about being clear about what you will and won't accept in your relationships. For example, if you have a friend who constantly complains and drains your energy, you might set a boundary by limiting the time you spend with them or gently redirecting conversations to more positive topics. Remember, it's not selfish to protect your energy. It's necessary for maintaining your high vibration and being your best self for others. Another key aspect of high vibrational relationships is empathy. When you're operating at a higher frequency, you become more attuned to the feelings and needs of others. You can sense when someone is struggling, even if they don't say it out loud. This heightened awareness allows you to offer support and understanding in a way that truly resonates with others. But here's where it gets really interesting. As you cultivate these high vibrational relationships, you create a supportive community around you. This community becomes a powerful force for maintaining and even elevating your own vibration. It's like having a team of cheerleaders, all rooting for your growth and success. Imagine starting your day surrounded by people who inspire you, challenge you to be your best self, and celebrate your victories. That's the power of a high vibrational community. These connections act as a buffer against life's challenges, helping you maintain your positive energy even when things get tough. Now let's talk about how to navigate relationships while keeping your vibration high. First and foremost, practice open and honest communication. High vibrational relationships thrive on authenticity. When you express yourself clearly and listen with an open heart, you create a space for deep, meaningful connections. Next, focus on gratitude. Make it a habit to express appreciation for the people in your life. This isn't just about saying thank you, it's about really acknowledging the value others bring to your life. When you do this, you not only raise your own vibration, but also uplift those around you. Another powerful practice is forgiveness. Holding on to grudges or resentment is like carrying around a heavy weight that drags down your vibration. Learning to forgive, not for the other person's sake, but for your own peace of mind, can free up an enormous amount of positive energy. Remember, maintaining high vibrational relationships doesn't mean avoiding all conflict. Disagreements are a natural part of any relationship. The key is how you approach these challenges. Instead of viewing conflicts as negative, see them as opportunities for growth and deeper understanding. Approach disagreements with curiosity and compassion, and you'll find that they often lead to stronger, more resilient connections. As you continue to raise your vibration and cultivate these high-energy relationships, you'll likely notice a ripple effect extending far beyond your immediate circle. Your positive energy can influence friends of friends, colleagues and even strangers you encounter briefly. You become a catalyst for positive change, inspiring others to raise their own vibration. We've explored how to raise your physical and emotional vibrations, but there's another crucial layer to this energetic onion, your spiritual vibration. This is where things get really exciting. Your spiritual vibration isn't just about religious beliefs, it's about your connection to something greater than yourself, your sense of purpose, and your place in the universe. Think of your spiritual vibration as the air you breathe in that garden we've been walking through. It's invisible, but it's essential for everything to thrive. When your spiritual vibration is high, you feel a sense of peace, purpose, and connection that permeates every aspect of your life. Now you might be wondering, how does my spiritual vibration affect my overall well-being? Well, imagine trying to grow a beautiful garden with poor soil and no sunlight. It doesn't matter how much you water it. It's not going to thrive. Similarly, you can work on your physical and emotional vibrations, but without nurturing your spiritual side, you might still feel like something's missing. So how do we elevate our spiritual vibration? 
there's no one-size-fits-all approach, but there are practices that can help you connect with your higher self and the world around you. Let's explore some of these. Mindfulness is a powerful tool for raising your spiritual vibration. It's about being fully present in the moment, aware of your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Have you ever noticed how time seems to slow down when you're fully absorbed in something you love? That's mindfulness in action. Try this. Next time you're doing a routine task like washing dishes, focus all your attention on the sensation of the water, the smell of the soap, the sound of the plates clinking. This simple act of presence can shift your energy and open you up to a deeper sense of connection. Another practice that can elevate your spiritual vibration is energy healing. This might sound a bit woo-woo, but hear me out. Energy healing techniques like Reiki or acupuncture work on the principle that we all have an energy field that can become blocked or imbalanced. By clearing these blockages, you can raise your overall vibration. Now, I'm not saying you need to become a Reiki master overnight. Even simple practices like using crystals or practicing visualization can help balance your energy. The key is to find what resonates with you. One of the most powerful ways to raise your spiritual vibration is by connecting with nature. When was the last time you stood barefoot on the earth, feeling the grass between your toes? Or sat quietly in a forest, listening to the rustle of leaves and the songs of birds? Nature has a way of recalibrating our energy, reminding us of our place in the greater scheme of things. Try this. Spend at least 15 minutes a day outside, really immersing yourself in nature. It could be in your backyard, a local park, or even a potted plant on your balcony. The key is to engage all your senses and allow yourself to feel part of the natural world. Now let's talk about the power of stillness. In our fast-paced world, we're constantly bombarded with information and stimulation. This noise can drown out our inner voice and lower our vibration. By embracing stillness, we create space for our spiritual energy to rise. Eckhart Tolle, a spiritual teacher, puts it beautifully. The more you are aligned with the form of the now, the more this energy comes through. This means that by being fully present, we open ourselves up to higher vibrational energy. Meditation is a fantastic way to cultivate this stillness, but if sitting cross-legged for an hour isn't your thing, don't worry. Even a few minutes of quiet reflection each day can make a big difference. The goal is to quiet the mental chatter and tune into your inner wisdom, as you incorporate these practices into your daily life, you might start noticing some changes. You may feel more centered, more at peace with yourself and the world around you. You might find that synchronicities, those meaningful coincidences, start happening more frequently. This is a sign that you're aligning with your higher purpose and vibrating at a higher frequency. Remember, raising your spiritual vibration isn't about reaching some perfect state of enlightenment. It's a continuous journey of growth and self-discovery. Some days you'll feel more connected than others, and that's okay. The key is to keep showing up for yourself, to keep nurturing that spiritual spark within you. Now that we've explored the various aspects of raising your vibration, let's talk about something crucial, maintaining that high energy. Because let's face it, life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. You're going to face challenges, setbacks, and days when your vibe feels more like a flickering candle than a roaring bonfire. First things first, it's important to understand that temporary dips in your vibration are completely normal. They're not a sign of failure or a reason to give up. In fact, these dips are often opportunities for growth and learning. Think of them as the universe's way of testing your resilience and commitment to your spiritual journey. Remember Sarah, our marketing executive who transformed her life by raising her vibration? Well, even she had her low moments. A few months into her journey, she faced a major setback at work. A project she'd poured her heart into was suddenly cancelled. For a moment, she felt her vibration plummet. But here's where it gets interesting. Instead of spiraling into negativity, Sarah used the tools she'd learned to quickly raise her energy. So what can you do when you feel your vibration dipping? Let's explore some practical strategies. First up, affirmations. These are powerful tools for shifting your energy quickly. When you're feeling low, try repeating positive statements like I am worthy of love and success or I trust in the journey of life. It might feel a bit forced at first, but stick with it. 
The power of affirmations lies in their ability to rewire your thought patterns over time. Next, let's talk about gratitude. When you're in a funk, it can be hard to see the good in your life, but that's exactly when gratitude becomes most powerful. Try this. Even when you're feeling down, challenge yourself to list three things you're grateful for. They can be as simple as a warm cup of coffee or a comfortable bed. This practice shifts your focus from what's wrong to what's right, instantly lifting your vibration. Physical movement is another fantastic way to shake off low vibes. Ever notice how a quick dance session or a brisk walk can completely change your mood? That's because movement literally shifts the energy in your body. So next time you're feeling low, put on your favorite upbeat song and dance like nobody's watching. You'll be amazed at how quickly your energy can shift. Now here's a powerful technique that often gets overlooked. Laughter. Yes, you read that right. Laughter is a high vibrational state that can instantly lift your mood. Watch a funny video. Call that friend who always makes you chuckle or even try laughter yoga. It might feel silly at first, but remember, silliness is often the antidote to taking life too seriously. But what about those times when the dip feels more like a nosedive? That's when self-compassion becomes crucial. It's easy to be hard on yourself when you're not feeling your best, but beating yourself up only lowers your vibration further. Instead, treat yourself with the same kindness you'd offer a good friend. Acknowledge that you're having a tough time and remind yourself that it's temporary. Here's something important to remember. Raising your vibration isn't a destination. It's a journey. It's not about reaching some perfect state and staying there forever. It's about developing the tools and resilience to navigate life's ups and downs while maintaining an overall higher frequency. Think of it like surfing. Sometimes you'll catch a perfect wave and ride it effortlessly. Other times, you'll wipe out. But each time you get back on the board, you're building strength and skill. The same goes for maintaining your high vibration. Each time you lift yourself out of a low moment, you're building your spiritual muscles. As you continue on this journey, celebrate your victories no matter how small. Did you catch yourself in negative self-talk and consciously shift to a more positive thought? That's a win. Did you choose to meditate for five minutes instead of scrolling through social media? Another win. These small victories add up over time, creating a momentum that carries you forward. Remember, every master was once a beginner. Even the most enlightened spiritual teachers have faced moments of doubt and low energy. What sets them apart is their commitment to the practice, their willingness to keep showing up, day after day. We've journeyed through the layers of vibrational energy, from the physical to the spiritual. Now, it's time to embrace this high-energy life. Remember, you're the composer of your vibrational symphony. Every thought, every action, every choice is a note in this grand composition. The power to shape your energy is always in your hands. Imagine waking up each day, vibrating at a frequency that attracts joy, abundance, and fulfillment. It's not just a dream. It's a reality you can create. Start small. Choose one practice we've discussed and commit to it for a week. Maybe it's daily gratitude or spending time in nature. Notice how your energy shifts. Your vibrational revolution starts now. Are you ready to step into your highest potential? Share your journey with our community. Together, we'll create a ripple effect of positive energy that can change the world.